Thank you for purchasing our Buck Scientific Isocratic Variable Wavelength HPLC system. Unpack the instrument and you should find our detector chassis, a pump chassis, uh, several cords for connecting the two, a manual with the software needed to run the instrument, uh, an HPLC column and syringe, fuses and hex keys for um, maintenance later on, uh, some sample prep material, the tubings and fittings for connection of the uh, instrument, and a uh, HPLC test sample mix. Before turning on the instrument and plugging them in, ensure that the voltage on the fuses here are set to the appropriate voltage. Connect the power plugs uh, into the socket. The cord that is hardwired in the detector chassis on top goes into connector two on the pump chassis. All connections should be uh, screwed in for optimal connection. Next cable that should be plugged in is the double-headed cable here. It has room for 15 pins, but there's only about 10 of them in there. One goes in the recorder integrator output, and one goes in connector three on the pump chassis. And again, these should be screwed in to secure them for connection. The final connection that needs to be made is the, uh, the detector output to the computer. Uh, there's a male end with 15 pins and a female end with nine pins. The male end uh, goes on connector one on the pump chassis. And the female end goes to a serial cable coming from your computer. If your computer does not have a serial cable, we also offer USB to, or you can purchase them locally at uh, many electronic stores. The first step in connecting the tubing is to take the solvent delivery tubing, remove the plug from the bottom of the BLC20 pump. You should set that aside and save it for later in case you need to store it. The tubing should already come with the solvent inlet frit attached. Uh, if it's a little bit loose, just push the uh, the, the tubing back on the connector. In the fittings kit you'll find a yellow ferrule and a, a black fitting. That is going to go on the end of this tubing. The black nut goes on the end of the tubing with the threading facing outwards and then the yellow ferrule goes with the flat part facing towards the outside. This assembly then goes underneath and is turned in finger tight. and the solvent inlet filter gets put in the solvent delivery bottle. The next connection will be from the pump outlet to the column. Again, you'll see a plug here from the outlet to column fixture. Remove the white fitting. And again, place it aside in case you want to store it later. Remove the pre-cut tubing. Again, the, the nut will be placed on so that the thread is facing outwards. And there will be a tan ferrule, and we want to place the cone-shaped point of the ferrule out to the end of the tubing. Insert the tubing with the fittings into the, the hole, and again, finger tighten. You don't want to over tighten, or you may actually cause leaks in the, the tubing. We're going to connect from the other, the outlet of the column. Again, save these plugs for storage. And repeat. We're going to attach the HPLC column holder next. Uh, there will be two screws on the side of the pump chassis. Remove the two screws with the Phillips head screwdriver. Set them aside. Place the two screws inside the column holder so that you can screw them back into the 
original holes. Now that we have the uh, column attached to the pump, I'm going to place the, uh, the column in the column holder. The next connection is going to be from the outlet of the column to the flow cell. The entrance to the flow cell is the bottom fitting. It uses smaller tubing to reduce uh, peak broadening. Again, it's the same connection, red nut, tan ferrule, into the inlet, finger tight. Again, we're going to use the flow cell to waste tubing. Remove the plug from the flow cell outlet. Nut and ferrule. And finger tight fitting again. The final connection for the tubing is going to be to a back pressure regulator. This just keeps 40 psi of pressure on the flow cell to prevent bubble formation in the flow cell. There's already a fitting in here uh, when you open it and you'll notice that there's a, uh, an arrow on the fitting to point out the direction of the flow. So we're going to connect the tubing from the flow cell to the appropriate side of the back pressure regulator. Feed the tubing through, push the fitting in, and finger tight down. This can now go in a waste container.